Hello and welcome back to a new video. In this video we're going to be talking all about my health reset and weight loss and stick with me right through to the end because I'm going to have some resources for you as well. So taking a step back about a year ago, um, in fact almost a year to the day, I decided that I really needed to do something about my health and um, especially my weight because I had got to the point where I wasn't feeling well, um, I knew I was overweight, I knew I had quite a bit of weight to lose, I um, have been on um, blood pressure medication, my cholesterol was getting too high and um, the doctor wanted to start giving me medication for that as well and um, just really not feeling like myself. I'd look in the mirror, I didn't like what I saw. And, um, you know, I, I want to caveat this by saying that, you know, you don't have to be super slim to feel good about yourself. But for me, this was a real health issue. And I knew that if I didn't do something about it, I was going down a slippery slope to um, more problems in the future. So over the course of um, last summer, up until sort of the early autumn, I lost about two and a half stone. And so many of you had asked me, what did you do? How did you do it? And to be honest with you, although um, I did employ some kind of sort of tactics, I really sort of cut down on um, the rubbish that I was eating and I started to do more exercise, which for me was walking. So um, then come to Christmas just passed and um, I was starting again to feel not particularly good. I had put back on a little bit of that weight, not, not all of it by any means, but a bit of it. And I really felt like, um, although I had got that far, I needed something more to be able to continue this and sustain it. And um, as quite often happens with things like this, I happened to read an article in a magazine about um, a health retreat. And it just sounded really interesting and like a lot of the things that I thought I needed. And um, I showed the article to my husband and lo and behold on Christmas Day, bless him, he had um, paid for me to go on this retreat. So last week, as a lot of you will know, um, I was away on the retreat and I'm going to put some footage in now about some of the things that um, went on during the retreat, some of the things that I did, um, how I felt about it. Now this is not an ad because this was completely paid for by my husband. And so I wanted to show you um, some of what I had been through whilst I was away on the retreat. Now come back at the end of the video because I'm going to tell you about what has happened since then, what results I've seen since I've been back and I'm also going to tell you about some resources that I'm going to have available for you if this is something um, that you're interested in doing. So see you later on in the video. So I've just arrived here at Coombe Grove and this is the view from my room. It's a shame that it's not sunnier so that I could sit out on my little terrace and have a cup of tea. And this is my room, nice comfortable bed, towel there for the swimming pool. And then my little desk, which has got some nuts and a nutcracker on it my little welcome booklet. Every room is set up to focus on whatever your um, core route is that you want to focus on. I said that I wanted to focus on sleep because I've been sleeping so badly. So you can see that I've got chamomile, um, little chamomile bag there. There's a diffuser that you can use so that you can put your essential oil of, of chamomile to help me relax and sleep. Nice comfortable little chair there for sitting in. On the bed is all my welcome goodies. This folder is for you to use as a journal. You've got a cup and um, a water bottle and some pucketees there. 
that's my little armband for going into the swimming pool. There's an indoor and an outdoor swimming pool, which is apparently heated to 29 degrees. And then over here is my wardrobe and a lot of different teas for me to make. And here it tells you which, which teas to use for which effect that you want. And then this is my bathroom. Nice shower there it's got all of the um shampoo conditioner and all of that kind of thing in there body lotion as well and there is a robe in the wardrobe there's me just settling in so yeah i think i'm going to be very comfortable and cozy here looking forward to snuggling up in that bed last Good morning. It's day the start of day three here at Coombe Grove and um, I'm just here with my cup of herbal tea. This morning I'm drinking Radiance. Everything has everything has so, so much lovely detail. So the teas that they use are pucker and I've got a pucker mug. I didn't have a great night's sleep again. I was awake for about two and a half hours in the night. But I don't feel bad. Um, I actually haven't woken up with a headache this morning. I think that could be something to do with being more hydrated. It was something that I spoke to about the lady who did the structural integration on me. And um, she recommended that I do drink more water, which of course we know. Um, but she also said that it would help with my neck pain. I'll speak a little bit more about that treatment that I had because it was amazing and um, actually quite life changing. So that was fantastic. This morning we have a nutrition tour. We have our normal brunch at um, 10.45 and I think I've ordered um, some kind of uh, wrap this morning. So the food has been amazing. The food has been absolutely really inspiring because um, although we're only eating twice a day, I am not hungry at all. As I say, it's half past eight. I haven't eaten since seven o'clock last night. We won't be eating until 10.45 and I feel absolutely fine. So I'm just going to get ready for my day now and um, I'll update you with more details about what's been going on and more um, light bulb moments that are going off um, as I go through the rest of the programme. Hello, so I thought I would catch you up on um, the last couple of days at the retreat. It's Wednesday, so I've been here for a couple of days and I thought I'd give you some information about what's been going on, what I've been experiencing and I've got my herbal tea ready, but I'm going to take a seat and um, have a chat with you, let you know everything that's been going on. Sitting here on my lovely comfortable bed, the room is gorgeous, I can't fault it at all, it's been beautifully set up. Um, mine, I think I mentioned, has been um, set up or dressed with chamomile to aid with um, one of the the route that I've chosen, which is sleep, because I've been struggling with my sleep. Um, but let me take you back to the beginning. So I arrived on Monday and then we met for a pre-lunch um, drink, which was a botanical cocktail which was delicious and I've actually decided that I'm going to have to buy some of these because I did give up pretty much drinking about six months ago, um, drinking alcohol that is, and um, it's quite nice to find something that's a bit of an alternative. So um, I will link in the description box the brand because they are delicious. I've been really impressed with them, had one with my dinner every night. So we had our lunch. The first day um, we did get lunch. Normally it's a 10.45 brunch and that's the first time that you eat in the day because um, they are doing um, time restricted eating, which is part of the programme in order to promote your metabolic health. It's one of the key things that they do. Um, there's a lot of detail to it, which um, 
we've we've had talks about it but um there's a lot for me to process and understand then on the first afternoon we had a tour of the grounds and um, a tour of all the different treatment rooms and um, the swimming pool and all of that kind of thing and just time really to sort of settle in and relax before we had our first dinner in the evening and for that first dinner um, I was absolutely stunned. Um, I had a saddle of lamb and um, celeriac mash and uh, red cabbage in a delicious sauce. It was absolutely amazing. It was like fine dining. Um, we did have a, a starter before that, which was kind of their version of a Waldorf salad. So the food has been amazing. We've all said that we would really like a cookbook. Um, and then the first night we did a kind of yoga meditation, which was um, just a tiny little bit of stretching and lots of relaxing. So that was really good. Um, early night. Then Tuesday we had um, our health checks and so as part of the retreat they check your blood glucose, they check your blood pressure, they check your cholesterol levels and then you stand on a machine which is called an acunic machine and it measures the percentage of fat and muscle that you have in your body. It also um, measures the visceral fat, which is that which sort of sits around your essential organs um, and your waist measurement, because obviously one of the key signs of um, insulin resistance is um, where you've got visceral fat around um, those essential organs. And one of the key things that they aim to do on this retreat is help you to reduce that so that you're not setting yourself up for future problems. So a lot of people who come on the retreats, they do have a pre-diabetic retreat, um, which is aimed at the same thing as well. Now, for me, that's not the case, but um, things like reducing my cholesterol, um, I was shown from the tests that I did to have some insulin resistance. So if I allow that to continue, I will be setting myself up for problems. So then um, once you know all of that information, it's a case of building a plan to reduce all of that and make sure that um, you do have metabolic health. So that was the morning. We then had our brunch and what did I have yesterday? My, my, I'm a little bit foggy today because I've had a treatment which I will tell you about. And we had a talk from um, Dr. Campbell Murdoch, who is one of the key people here. He was the doctor who did all the health checks on us. And he talked to us about the five routes and about um, how it all works and how insulin resistance can cause all sorts of problems in the body and how it can, um, getting it under control can reverse all of those problems. And he really gave us quite a lot of hope that actually just by making these changes and following a plan, um, we could really make a difference and make a difference, a significant difference um, quite quickly. And um, so that's why they follow up with you over the course of a year, but also um, you have Thriver blood tests every so often so that you can measure how you're doing. Um, they also gave us a blood pressure machine so that we can continue to measure our blood pressure, which I do anyway, because I am taking blood pre pressure medication. But the other thing that came out of it when I had a conversation with him was that there is a good possibility that I could get off that. And he even thought quite rapidly. Um, so a lot of hope and um, really positive and um, just listening to the things that he said, it just all made so much sense. So that was really, really interesting. In the afternoon, I went for a swim with one of the other ladies who, um, interestingly enough, lives quite near to me. There's a couple actually who live quite near to me. 
um, really nice group of ladies that are on here. There's nine of us in total, um, but all lovely, all got their own reasons for being here. All people that have been really nice to talk to. And so that's been great, sort of sharing with them as well. And then in the evening after our dinner, and last night I had a really beautiful chicken dish. Again, we had a kind of salad -y starter. And for last night's dinner, the owner of the retreat, a lady called Helen, came and ate with us. And I was lucky enough that she sat next to me. So I had a really good chat with her about why she had set the retreat up and her vision for it, which was really interesting. And then also yesterday I had my first treatment and this was one that I kind of booked a bit late. It wasn't one that I had picked originally, but I added it in because somebody else highly recommended it. And it was called Structural Integration and it was absolutely phenomenal. The lady that did it was so lovely. We chatted the whole way through it. We talked about, um, I was explaining to her that one of the shocking things that I had found out in um, Dr Murdoch's talk was that what I thought my healthy breakfast porridge was not healthy at all because it's, it's starch, it's basically starch and starch turns to sugar. And of course, that's the one thing that we are trying to reduce this week. So um, she was giving me some other ideas. And so loads of information that she was imparting as she gave me this treatment in which she discovered that I'm slightly twisted. So she asked me to face the wall and she said, okay, so you're not actually facing the wall, you're slightly tilted. And during the course of the treatment, she managed to straighten me up quite a bit, um, also relieve quite a bit of the pain that I had in this shoulder. And um, she told me, and I have got it here, to get one of their little exercise balls so that you can use that leaning against a wall to kind of massage the, the places. Because the treatment that she gave me, rather than being a massage, it's um, about stretching out the tissues, which is hard for you to do yourself, but a massage ball will do that for you. So that was all really interesting and um, actually brilliant, brilliant. I slept really badly actually last night. I did get to sleep earlier, but I was awake for about two and a half hours in the night. I'm not too worried about it. Um, one of the workshops we had today was about sleep and there were a couple of things in there that I realised that could really help with my sleep. So I will be putting some of those into action as well. Um, the other workshop we had today was about nutrition and it was all about building your plate of food. So that was really fascinating and again just all makes perfect sense and something which I'm definitely going to take on board. And then after brunch today, which I had um, a spinach wrap, it looked when it turned up, obviously it was green because it was spinach, but it was wrapped around smoked salmon, cream cheese, and it had, I think it must have been like a creme fraiche dip and a little sauce around. It was amazing. It was absolutely delicious and it was served with rocket. Not something that I would have thought of making for myself, but it was amazing. But I have to say, I haven't really felt bad at all. I actually feel really good, especially after the treatment that I had this afternoon, which was called um, say, uh, Cranial Sacral Osteopathy. And the lady that I had it with, she just had this feeling of calm about her and she started talking to me and I almost felt quite tearful when I was talking to her which was you know weird <laughs> um, and then she started doing the treatment on me and I could feel my body kind of moving involuntarily and and she was saying to me can you feel that can you feel that it was incredible. She was literally just putting warmth on various areas of my body, my shoulders and um, neck, because I had explained to that. Now, <laughs> now I'm sitting here and this shoulder, which has been so incredibly painful for so long, I have no pain in it.
And I actually feel quite emotional saying that because it's been such a struggle. And, and because when you're in pain constantly, it gets to the point where you literally are just tolerating it and you kind of try to block it out. And it's almost weird that there's something missing. Oh my goodness, it's the pain that's missing. So that's as far as we've got. Um, and uh, tomorrow afternoon, I get a one-to-one -one with a nutritionist. So that's an hour where we actually can sit down and talk about what would work for me and what I need as opposed to the general principles of it. So I'm really looking forward to that because it's going to be quite a change to the way that we eat. But I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about creating new recipes and trying new things, things that I, I haven't tried before, like, you know, cooking with more seeds and um, like the example of having the celeriac mash, which was delicious and definitely something that I'm going to do more often. And by the way, I'm wearing my lovely lily silk cardigan. Yesterday, um, I'll pop a picture in, I did wear my... Um, red sweater and I had so many compliments about it so thank you again to Lily Silk for those pieces they've been beautiful. I'm out in the fresh air on a walk which is beautiful it's a little bit chilly today but one of the goals is 20 minutes of cardiovascular a day so that's what I'm doing and I'll turn you around so that you can see where I am. Gorgeous view over the valley. And I don't really know where I'm going. I just thought I'd set off and see what I could find. But um, I've got some kitchen gardens here, so I don't know if I'm going to come across those at some point. Okay, now, look at this. Look at that view. How fantastic is that? Beautiful. So I shall carry on with my walk and speak to you again later. Look at this beautiful morning this morning. It's absolutely stunning. We finally have some sunshine here and gorgeous, gorgeous view. Hello, it's uh, Friday afternoon. I'm not sure when I last spoke to you, um, but I haven't actually been at the retreat today. I had to go back home to, sadly, to a funeral um, and I've just arrived back. So um, I thought I'd catch you up on what happened over the last couple of days. So because um, we're doing time restricted eating, they very kindly made me a brunch to take with me on the train, which was a lovely big, big chunk of frittata with some salad leaves and then um, yogurt with nuts and fruit, which was absolutely delicious, has kept me filled all day. I didn't eat or drink anything other than water at the funeral. And I'm now back and will be going for my dinner in about 40 minutes. So um, yeah, so that all worked um, well. Um, so the last couple of days, lots of lots more appointments, um, a one to one with the nutritionist so that I can start planning out what I'm going to be doing when I get home to make sure that I make a success of everything. Um, I had a great appointment with um, a very nice young man, which was supposed to be an aromatherapy um, massage. But after we had sat and chatted for a bit and I told him about my sciatica and my other problems, um, especially the problem with my shoulder, he um, said that he, he was also qualified as an osteopath. And um, from what I had told him, he didn't think that it was sciatica that was the problem. And um, after he had kind of examined me and talked to me more and got me to do a few different things, um, he confirmed his diagnosis that it wasn't actually sciatica. Um, it's to do with the gluteus medius that is causing the problem because the pain is down the side of my leg, not down the back of my leg. Anyway, cut a long story short. So he has given me some alternative things to do um, and yeah, so that was really interesting. 
and um, then he sorted out this shoulder for me. I have no pain in it today at all. It's been absolutely brilliant. So lots of good going on. Tonight's a little bit more relaxed. We have a talk about the history of this place, which is absolutely beautiful. It's an old manor house and um, it really is a gorgeous, gorgeous building. Um, so that's a little bit different. Tomorrow we are putting together our plans for going home, so personalising our plans based on all the information that we've gathered, all of the test results, because I've now had my um, full blood test results back. They came back today. Um, so I've got all of that information that I can now use going forward to make my plans for when I get home. I've already started my Ocado shopping list so that I've got all the foods that I want in the house. When I get home on Sunday, the shopping is coming soon after that. So I feel like I'm really prepared for going home. And um, despite today being quite a difficult day, I actually feel, um, you know, quite invigorated and um, quite ready for going home and, and also quite excited about some of the new foods that I'm trying and the new menus that I'm going to cook. So I will be filming some of those coming up in the future if that's something that would be of interest to you. Some of the lovely things that um, I've tasted here, not necessarily their recipes, although they are giving us some. Um, today was a cooking demonstration, which sadly I missed, but very kindly they have filmed it for me. So um, I'm excited to see that. And um, just all the kind of finishing touches to the recipes and how you put the different foods together. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing some of that when I get home. And um, if you're interested in seeing that, then I will share some of the things that I'm cooking with you as well. So I hope you enjoyed that um, video all about the retreat and some of the things that I did. It really was fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, they do have a returners retreat that you can go on, which is three days rather than the six of the one that I went on. And it's just to sort of um, help you catch up later on if you feel that you need to. So I think I will probably go on that, but maybe not until the autumn time. But I wanted to let you know about um, the results really and um, what I've been doing since I got home and how I've managed to maintain what I was doing on the retreat. So there were a few key things which um, I, I have continued to follow. So um, one of the things that I was really concerned about was my sleep and so I've not been having any caffeine after kind of midday. Um, I've been drinking a lot more herbal teas because that is something that in the past I'd not really liked them but whilst I was on the retreat I decided I was really going to try them, I was going to get into them and I have done and I found a few that I really like, um, like especially there's one by Pucker called Night Time which I'm um, having before I go to bed as a sort of later evening drink and um, there's another one that um, is called Radiance that I'm having in the morning. So there's a few of those. I'll link any of these um, things that I've mentioned in the description box for you. And um, since I've been home, which is about five days now, and over the course of the retreat, um, I weighed myself before I went away. And I've been weighing myself since I got back just to see the effects of this. And I am down about five pounds. So that's in less than two weeks. And um, I don't feel like I'm starving myself. I'm eating really lovely, healthy meals. I will pop in here a picture of the brunch that I made on the first day um, that I got back. And um, so I'm really feeling energised. I feel like I've lost a lot of puffiness in my face. I've definitely lost weight. I have definitely lost um, some centimetres on my waist. So some really positive results from that. And 
what it helped me to do was along with all the things that I had kind of learned over last year when I was losing weight and doing more walking, it just gave me some other things to try as well, which really have kind of kickstarted that again. And they are lifestyle changes, but they are things that I know I'm going to be able to maintain going forward. So if this is something um, that you're really interested in, and I know that there are a lot of you who are, because so many of you have contacted me to ask what I've been doing, so I've decided that I'm going to put a whole load of information into um, my Style Lounge membership. I'm going to create a whole new section in there about health and wellness and um, give you all of the tips and um, resources and things that I have found useful, things that I've done that have worked, the changes that I've made, the kind of exercise that I'm doing, um, things that I've bought that have been really helpful, recipes, all of that kind of thing. Um, because over the last year I have gathered so much information and I've tried and tested so many different things um, and some things have worked and some things have happened haven't so I really wanted to share with you the things that have worked so if that's something that you're interested in I'm going to put a link in the description box to um, the Style Lounge membership now within that we have a monthly tea and chat which is a um, virtual zoom chat where we get together and you can ask me all sorts of style questions but if you want to ask me questions about this as well then um, that's available for you too. Now, because of that, I am going to um, initially limit the membership because um, I don't want that call to get too overwhelming. And there are people who've been doing it for some time and I want them to still continue to be able to feel like they can be a part of that as well. So I am going to be limiting the membership. So if you are interested in this, please do get into the membership um, quickly and the content will be starting to drop um, over the next couple of weeks and then every month I will be updating it with new resources, new recipes, new information just to keep you going and help you um, and to provide you with that um, ongoing support as well. So that's my update. I'm feeling fantastic. Um, I feel really positive about the future going forward. I still have um, quite a bit of weight to lose. I still need to bring my cholesterol down quite a bit. Um, my blood pressure is already down. Um, so there are definitely markers that I can see that um, are improving and that I know will continue to improve. And I also know that this is a lifestyle not a diet that i'm going to be able to stick to in the future so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give it a thumbs up if there's anybody that you think would benefit from any of this information please share it with them as well and um, jump into the style lounge if it's something that you want to get involved in as well along with all the other benefits that you get in the style lounge and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.